Hey, what is going on, guys? My name's Long Sensation, and today we've got for you guys is episode 5 of my long awaited How to Get Diamond and Royalty Camels Fast within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. For this episode, we're going to be covering one of the hardest challenges to complete when going for your Diamond and Royalty Camos, which is going to be Low Blow Medals, also known as Slide Kills. Once this video gets to 150 likes, I'll then upload the next episode in which we're going to be covering how to get easy double kills for the submachine guns, shotguns and sniper rifles. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So low blow medals are definitely one of the hardest challenges to complete when going for your diamond and royalty camos for the shotguns, submachine guns and pistols. However in this video I'll be giving you guys just a few small tips that are going to allow you to complete these challenges much more easily. First of all for the submachine guns and shotguns I'm going to recommend that you guys pick a variation of these weapons that have either the highest damage or highest fire rate. Now the reason for this is quite simple, you want to kill the enemy as fast as possible which is going to allow you to increase your chances of being able to get a low block kill. For example for the ASM1 I've decided to use the ASM1 speakeasy, now although it does not have increased damage, it does have an increased fire rate which is going to allow me to put a lot more bullets into my enemies in a shorter duration allowing me to increase the chances of being able to get a low block kill. As well as choosing the best variation of the weapon that has increased damage and fire rate, there's also several different attachments that you can use to also increase your chances of getting a low blow medal. For example, in the submachine gun category, the laser sights and rapid fire attachments will increase your chances of being able to get a low blow kill, as you're going to be able to slide whilst firing from the hip, and also allow yourself to put a lot more bullets into the enemies. For the shotguns, I also recommend the laser sight attachment and I also recommend advanced rifling because quite simply the range on the shotguns are very poor and if you can increase that range by just a small fraction, it will definitely increase your chances of being able to get a low block kill. Now moving on to perks which is arguably one of the most important things you want to consider when going for your low blow kills and first of all for tier number 1 we're going to pick both low profile and lightweight. Now the reason for this is quite simple, lightweight is going to increase our mobility and quite simply allow us to run around the map a lot more faster and allow us to flank behind the enemies so we can slide behind them and quite easily get our low blow kills. For tier number 2 we're obviously going to go for Gung Ho as this is arguably the best perk in the game to help us get our low blow medals because of course using this perk you're allowed to slide whilst firing which is going to allow us to get our low blow kills much more easily. Now moving on to tier number 3 we're going to opt for two perks the first one being Blast Suppressor which is going to allow us to stay off the enemy minimap whilst using our EXO movements once again allowing us to flank behind the enemies and stay completely off the minimap. For the second perk in tier 3 we're going to opt for Toughness. Now although this is not a necessary perk it's just a very useful perk for those medium to long range engagements that you might otherwise lose if you didn't have the Toughness perk. Now for score streaks, this is entirely up to you, however I'm going to recommend the UAV and the system hack. Now the reason for this is quite simple, it's a brilliant combination that is going to allow you to locate the enemies and also disabling the enemies exosuits will allow you to increase your chances of being able to get a few more low blow medals. Now as well as choosing the right variation of the weapon, the right attachments and the right perks, you still want to do your slide kills correctly as this can be very difficult to do when going for your low blow medals. Quite simply when you're going for your low blow medals what you want to do is slide and hip fire because aiming down sights means that you're very inaccurate and this will just furthermore increase your chances of being able to get a low blow medal. Now although that I've covered both the shotguns and some machine guns in this video I just quickly want to give you guys an incredibly useful and secret tip regarding low blow kills for the pistols and this can also work for the shotguns and some machine guns as well. For example, the RW1 pistol is incredibly difficult to get your low blow medals, however you can obtain these by sliding and punching your enemies if you've got that weapon in hand. 
For example, on this one game on Riot, I managed to get all 10 of my Lord Law medals in one single match just by sliding and punching my enemies with the RW1 in hand. Now this is an incredibly useful tip and I definitely advise you guys to do this as it's just going to allow you to get your Lord Law medals much more easily. But anyway guys, this has been episode 5 of my How to Get Diamond and Royal to Camos Fast for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. As always, once this video gets to just 150 likes, I'll then upload the next episode in which I'll be covering how to get easy double kills. But anyway guys, I've been Long Sensation, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.